The app comes bundled with the three focus modes – timer mode, schedule mode, and hardcore mode. All the modes have their own pros and cons, and you want to use them depending on the type of work you're doing or just the mode you're most productive in. Now let's take a look at how exactly you can benefit from each of them. Timer mode. This mode is most useful if you like working for specific time spans or use the Pomodoro technique. You can just click the app icon and select the following default options in the drop-down. 15 minutes, 25 minutes or an hour. Also, you may want to define a custom time by clicking the custom option. Schedule mode. If you're more of a schedule-driven person, you may want to use schedule mode. To configure that, you need to click the app icon in the tray and then go to preferences. That done, you should click the schedule option. Now you can add your schedules by clicking the plus add new schedule button. For each schedule you add, you can specify the day of the week when you want the schedule to uh, take effect. Also, you can enable your schedule for weekdays, weekends or simply for every day. To top it off, you can also specify both start and finish times for each of your schedules. As you can see for yourself, the app is extremely flexible when it comes to scheduling. And finally, hardcore mode. If you happen to constantly change your schedule or stop your timer and consequently keep on missing your deadlines, hardcore mode is here to help. You can enable it in the general tab under preferences. Once you tick the hardcore mode checkbox, you won't be able to change preferences or stop focusing until the timer or schedule is up. Now that you know about the major modes, let's take a closer look at how you can block sites and apps that kill your productive time.